Hey, trusted mom friend, Ashley! Oh, sorry. Just working out. Ashley here. She's intentionally. I got a question about swimming. Montana Rom writes, hey, Ashley. Yes. The kids have swim state meet coming up. Which intention card works the best to get them pumped up? I have the perfect card for you. I would use this card the week before a big meet. I choose to be me today. On the back under acted, it says, be proud of who you are, you are amazing. Celebrate your strengths, and when you pass a mirror, look at yourself and say you are awesome. Okay, so the first one. Have a session with your kids to name what they love about swimming. Is it being on a team? Is it being in the water? Uh, the adrenaline maybe of being on the blocks right before the starting gun goes off? Is it um, competing in general? Uh, naming those things before you get to the big meet will help be maybe a consolation prize if you need it, if the day doesn't go their way. You know, so swimming, not very many things come down to one hundredths of a second, but in swimming, make it or break it could be one hundredth of a second, and it can be very disappointing. So if that happens that day, you can remind your child, you know, well, we got to compete, we got to be on the blocks, we got to be out here. Those are all big wins, and, and today's a successful day just being out here. Um, the second thing you can do this week is pillow notes or pillow letter. Uh, what is a pillow letter? I'm going to show you. Get a piece of paper and write a letter to your child. Um, here's an example. Dear Ashley, I'm so proud of all your hard work this season and stress the hard work. I know how many hours you've put in so far. Awesome. You are so strong and confident and you bring so much value to the team. I'm going to be the proudest mom at the pool. Love that one. I love watching you do your thing and I can't wait to celebrate all your hard work. Have fun out there, mom. Okay, so you've written one letter. Then get some scissors and cut this thing up. Do, 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 do. And now you have five pieces of a letter. Put one on their pillow on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And by the end of the week, they've had a whole letter that they'll be able to look forward to every morning of just pumping them up and giving some confidence throughout the week. If you have lots of time, Get a fun piece of paper and write a letter on the paper like this. And then when you cut it up, it'll be a puzzle that you could do in you know, different order. And at the end of the week, they put it together. But only do this if you have a lot of time. If not, just go loose leaf paper. It's great. They'll love it. Um, and then the last thing you could do this week is mirror talk. Go in front of a mirror in your house and call your child over and say, hey, come over here. I want you to see something. No, come here, come here, come here, come here. And they'll be like, what? What is it? And then get behind them, pop your face over and say, look. Look at that, look at you. You are awesome, and now you say it. I'm not gonna say it, say it. I'm awesome, I'm awesome. And you can do that a couple times this week, just as a quick funny reminder, not funny, but like, you know, you're confident, you're awesome, you got this, and it'll, it'll go a long way. Um, you don't have to have a swimmer to be able to do something like this this week. Celebrate who your child is, no matter what. It doesn't matter if they have um, an event coming up. And during I Choose to Be Me week, celebrate who they are. Um, See what happens. And Montana Mom, DM me uh, to tell me how the meet goes. I can't wait to hear. And if any of these strategies felt awesome for you, I'd love to know. Uh, if anybody else has a question, I'd love for you to DM me on Instagram and I'll get the question up here and answer it right away. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.